Conformity is a change of behaviour to match a group due to social influence. There are two types of social influence, normative social influence and informational social influence. These are essentially the two reasons that someone would conform to the behaviour of a group. Normative social influence is the idea that someone would conform due to the fear of being left out or appearing different to the group. So the person changes their behaviour to match what is considered normal in the group. Informational social influence is the idea that the group has more information. Therefore, someone changes their behaviour because of the desire to be correct. In reality, conformity is often a result of a combination of these two types of social influence. As well as different types of social influence, there are different types of conformity. Each type of conformity essentially describes how far someone conforms based on whether they genuinely believe in the group's behaviour and whether it is a temporary or permanent change in behaviour. Compliance is a form of temporary conformity. This means that someone conforms to the group whilst with them but still maintains their own private beliefs and reverts to their own behaviour when not with the group. This is usually due to normative social influence and the fear of being rejected or not fitting in. An example of this is when someone who usually eats meat chooses a vegetarian option when eating out with vegetarian friends. They maintain the belief that eating meat is okay, however, they don't want to be the odd one out among their friends. On the other hand, internalisation is a form of permanent conformity. This means someone conforms to the group permanently. They completely change their behaviour to match the group when they are with them and when they are not. Therefore, they genuinely believe in the group's behaviour. This is usually due to informational social influence. Using the vegetarian example, if a person's friends are all vegetarian, so they change their behaviour to fully become vegetarian, they are internalising this behaviour. They come to fully believe in the behaviour and conform to it both publicly and privately. Finally, identification sits between these two, as it is temporary, yet the person genuinely believes in the behaviour of the group. This means they genuinely believe in the behaviour and conform to it when with the group. However, this behaviour is also temporary as they only conform when in the specific context due to identifying with their role in the situation. For example, if a person eats vegetarian food with their vegetarian friends as they genuinely believe it's the right thing to do. They identify with the situation and their role in the group. However, in other situations they feel that eating meat is acceptable. So they genuinely agree with the behaviour of the group, yet is also temporary. There are plenty of studies that support the concept of conformity. However, one of the key weaknesses is that conformity has a limited influence on behaviour. Conformity can be used to explain aggression through conformity to social norms. Social norms are the unwritten rules of what is considered normal in society. Therefore, we are pressured to conform through normative social influence. For example, gender norms relate to the expectations of a person based on their gender. In terms of aggression, it is more expected for a man to use aggressive traits to achieve status or rewards, such as being a ruthless business person. On the other hand, women are not expected to be aggressive. However, they may be seen as more emotionally aggressive. There are also differences in aggression due to cultural norms, what is considered normal or acceptable in different cultures. For example, owning a gun in the United States is considered normal and acceptable. However, in British culture, owning a gun is considered as aggressive. They promote their brand as part of these social norms, therefore influencing consumers to buy their product as a way of conforming to them. Finally, gender norms influence gendered behaviour, as we feel pressure to conform to what is expected of us based on our gender, such as the pressure for men to be masculine and for women to be feminine.